Hi guys, welcome back to Kids Explorer. My name is Sijo and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for the Study Bunny app. The Study Bunny app is a great app because it's like a focus timer. It helps you manage your study time and it is very beneficial. So when you come to the Study Bunny app, this is going to be your homepage. So you can see a bunny and you can see the background and you can also see three lines on the right side of the page. So I'm going to be so I'm going to just click on it and these are the icons which will show up. The first icon is a book. When you will click on the book, there's different timer modes like countdown, stopwatch and break. When you click on the countdown, you can check how much time you want to count it down. Like you the minimum is 5 minutes and the maximum is 180 minutes. And when you click on this tag button, there's like a color tag and you can just you know select a color for each session so for example i will click on uh, this color which is pink and i can type wait what about yeah let's choose orange and i can type and subject so i will type english and i'll say okay so this is going to be my color tag and i'm going to say that this is my countdown you have to count down for five minutes no wait let's just uh, let's just make it 10 minutes okay 10 minutes and this is my countdown so you have to count down for 10 minutes for my English subject so I'm gonna just click sub start and it's gonna count down so it's going to tell me when 10 minutes is over so you can pause it if you just want to go to the washroom or you want to get a snack you can just pause it but then there's time limit for the pause if you do more than seven minutes you will not get your coins so I'm just gonna unpause it and here you can end your session so if you want to end it completely you can just say yes so here you can get your points I just started the timer and I ended it so I did not get any points but if you will study for longer time you will get more points so here you can also do for the stopwatch where you can just saw the time and it's going to like calculate your time how much you do it and yeah so I'm just gonna end the session same thing you can do it for this one Okay, so next we have this chart. On this chart, whichever you have done, like the stopwatch and everything, you have, like, it calculated your time. So it's going to show it over here in, like, in charts. Here you can add your subjects. If I click on this add button, I can write here a subject, which is science. And I'm going to choose a color, which I'd like. You cannot repeat a color, which you've used for the other subjects. So I'll just click confirm. And see, so you can see that science is added. So I just started using it, and it's a been a while I didn't use it, but I'm tr um, I'm thinking of starting it again because it's a great app. And uh, so you, you can do it for each month. Like for I started in March, and nothing there in January or February. So in March, I've done something. So like it shows you in weeks, and it shows you in months. Okay, so next icon is your trolley. So in the store, you can like buy things with the money you've earned by studying. You can buy some items for your bunny. So many people love to study and get to uh, buy things to, f to make their bunny look cute. So you can just buy some hats or caps and you can even add the background for like, for example, underwater laboratory the hospital and you can add you know skateboards or many many items are there like if i click on the star there's holiday lights music notes so here you can check whatever you bought so i haven't bought anything yet but i will soon so something that fits on your if you want to just like not buy it and you want to check how it fits on your bunny you can just click on preview so the preview is only for 10 seconds but so if you click on this you can just check how it fits on your bunny if it looks good you can buy it so this preview only is for 10 seconds see it disappeared so here are all of the things you can buy from the store the next one is this to-do list in the to-do list you can add tasks for example I will say do math text So I want to, I have to do this. 
so I can do this and when I'm done doing it I can just click over here and it will put a tick mark that I've already done it so next we have the flashcards the flashcards are really 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 helpful and they're very good like for example if you click on the flashcard you can just name it something for example you can name math problems like, you know, some math questions I can ask myself. So I can just say 264 um, plus 5. So I'm just going to give some example. So I'm just going to put the, un like, here is the front. We have to write the equation or, like, the question. And at the back, you got to write the answer. So I'm just going to write the answer. Yeah, so that's going to be my answer. You can keep on adding more cards and adding more and more of the flashcards. You can do this for any subjects. It's unlimited and you can add as many flashcards as you want. It's not important to only have one quiz. You can have more than one. So I'm just going to write the answer. Um, so I'm just going to write five, six. Okay, now I'm just going to quiz myself. So here you can see that if you want to, first you've got to read the question. And you can say that, okay, 234 plus 5. And you know the answer is 239. So you can check your answer and then you can click this correct button. That means that you got the question correct. And then you can do similarly for the next question. So it will say you got it 100% right. So you can keep on adding more sets. And you can name them and you can add for different subjects. The next one is the music. So you can find lots of musics over here. Some of them you got to buy them with your study points. But some of them are already free. So you can, you know, listen to music while doing. Then you have this login into cloud to save so you can, you know, log into your account and stuff. And here you have the settings. So in the settings, you can um, change the name of like your bunny. You can like add a name for your bunny. And I named mine Lucy, so you can change it and like, yeah. So next thing which I wanted to tell you, which is very important, is this bar, the white bar you can see on the top. My bunny is sad because I'm t because I haven't uh, used Study Bunny in a while, and I will use it again. But if I will keep on, you know, studying. Then this bar, it will change from red to orange to yellow to red, uh, I mean to green. So the green is the best. So the, every, all the children, we like to um, change it to green. We want our bunny to be happy. So when you make it to green, your bunny will be happy and his eyes like it'll open and won't, he won't be crying tears. And also under the white bar, you can see your study points, which I've got 25. And also, I'm going to tell you about this carrot. So when you give the carrot to the bunny, it will show you this. When you watch a short ad, you can get coins and carrots. So, you know, when you study, you, you make the bunny more happy than when you give him the carrot. So uh, this app motivates you to study so that the bunny becomes happy. Another important thing is that if you want to, you know, uh, if you're using the same device and you want to go to Google or YouTube to see something about your studies, you might think the timer may go off, but it won't. You just have to click the center button of your tab or mobile phone and uh, you don't have to remove it from your recent apps. So the, you can just go out of the app and you can just, you know, uh, do whatever you want to do and you can come back to the app and you will see the timer is still on so this was all for the tutorial of the study bunny app it is very helpful this app and you know you can study more in less time and you it like it shows you in graphs it shows you weekly and monthly like how i showed you before so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, i, I love sharing it with you so thank you for watching bye